Don't we look so good? Uh, a couple people asked us where we go to school and no uh, one asked us that. Well, I asked us that. <laughs> and basically we go to Berkeley College of Music and that's what we do. First question, what is your favorite song that you've made? Honestly, it's gonna have to be your scarf. It's just it's just the first song that we've ever made. I don't know, I, I feel like it had that special magic to it because it was the first one. It was probably the hardest one to make too because like yeah. it was when we were first figuring out how to work with each other and stuff. But I felt like it was the most rewarding. My favorite song isn't out yet, but you guys will soon hear it. <clears throat> Next question comes from Vienna. How has Sundial changed your life and what do you look forward for Sundial? Uh, we definitely want to become bigger, you know, grow our names out. Maybe major label. Right now we're working with a couple indie ones like Seeking Blue. But uh, yeah, Sundial's changed my life for everything. I mean, first off, you know, this, this thing right there. It's given us a way to do something in music that we normally would not have been able to do. I think just apart from music, it has given us both the chance to spread positivity and just love in our music. It's just me. And me. It's just. Oh, we have more questions. Cool. Go. What did you two study and how did you juggle between uni and music? Uh, we didn't juggle. That's this. Yeah. See, the act of juggling is balancing. We, we had no we, balance. We weren't balanced. We weren't balanced. No. balanced. What we had to do was decide, okay, do we want to work on school projects or do we want to do Sundial? And we chose Sundial most of the time. But, you know, we still got a pass. And we have, like, you know, GPAs that our parents want us to maintain and stuff. But college is great because it gives us time to work on music together. Yeah. And in a way, we're kind of buying time. And our majors are electronic production design. We make bleeps and bloops. Yeah. I realized I've been holding my comb this entire time. Oh. Next question comes from Yaya, and she says, how do you feel about this image? <laughs> hey Dorothy, how you doing? <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> Next question, when will you go on tour? When we have money. Yeah. Dream collab. Bad baby. Why bitch? Why hoes? Why hoes? Hey bitch, hey bitch. Are all your Supreme I clothes real? I mean, like, who can afford that many shirts? Um. I don't deal with fakes. When did you guys start playing instruments slash making music? I started playing piano when I was five and been pretty much making music since then. I started playing piano around the same age, but instead of playing more piano, I decided to go into cello. And I've been playing cello since like eight, nine. Okay, look at that view. Thank you, uh, I know. Oh, nope, look at that view. No, how did Sundown start? Well, Sundial started because we kind of wanted a way to create music together. Everyone at our school, they jam. But uh, I guess in a way that was kind of our way of jamming. The first song that we ever wrote, we didn't have a purpose for it really. Like, we just wanted to make music together. Merch! Yes, only once, once we, have we have money. 1 million subscribers. Next question is, where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, but technically I was born in Korea. I'm from Hong Kong, born and raised. What are your guys' ethnicities? I'm Chinese. And I'm Korean. Do you know any other languages besides English? Yes, I speak Korean fluently and... I speak Chinese Mandarin and Cantonese. Annyeonghaseyo! Oh, uh, oh, uh, leho! Okay. <laughs> What's it like being both a couple and music slash business partners? I feel like a lot of people have this common misconception that just because you're a couple, you can't work together. But I feel like being a couple actually benefits us. Especially what we're doing. It's creative work, so we have to be vulnerable with each other. Because we're also in a relationship, we know what our strengths and weaknesses are. Like, just like, full on out. And we complement that. If anything, it's a lot more rewarding. And it's a lot less lonely. Yeah. <laughs> Next question is, how do we get inspired? In the beginning, it used to be like our relationship stuff that we go through together, but most recently, it's been like pretty much everything. We're trying to just write more about anything, really. And in our next EP, hopefully, it's going to show the more mature side of us. And that's all we have for the video. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any requests for any other videos, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Follow us on all the music platforms, Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes. Well, iTunes doesn't exist anymore. Apple Music, though. Apple Music. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you loved it. Catch you guys later. No, can you do it? That's up, you guys. Yes! Today we have another conspiracy video, and today we're gonna be talking about the flat earth theory. Now, guess what? Earth is flat. If you think otherwise, then you are part of the conspiracy that the government has planted inside of our brains.